Hello my creative friend, Olga Sabi here and welcome to new fluid acrylic painting tutorial. Tell me, are you in the holiday mode already? Yeah? Great! Because today I want to do painting that's going to be full of really bright, cheerful colors of this holiday season. I also want to try a few different things with it. I will introduce them to you as we go. Also, just a quick reminder that right now we have sale happening for my epoxy resin clear coating course and for our acrylic pouring A to Z course. There are a couple days left. If you want to learn more about the sale, all the information is going to be in the description below the video. So check it out and now let's get started! Wishes come true is a secret message for this painting and this is what I wish to all of you this holiday season. So for my painting I'm going to use the hoop to separate one area of my painting and create an interesting effect. And I want to go for color split base. For my color split and in general for my painting I want to have a lot of green with some pops of red and gold. So yeah, like I said, we are in a holiday color palette. And for my color split I have mixed some green. I want to go for a little lighter uh, green on top, a little darker at the bottom. So for this one I mix some black into my green and this one is some white and um, even a little bit of red to mute uh, this green a little bit. And the flow I want to be really bright and contrasting. First of all, let's pour it out and let's work on that negative space. And inside of my ring there's going to be different colors. I'm not going to pour anything inside. Oh, this is such a pretty green color. Even though you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of green, but this is this minty color is very pretty, I think. I will include the link to my article in the description below the video where you can find all the information about colors, you know, links, all the useful information. So check it out. So I think I actually want a little more here. Yeah, this is better. Let's spread it out. I'm not even going to clean my spatula to move colors to the top because I don't mind if my color silver mix a little bit. I think it will only make it more interesting. What is going to be here in the center, you might want to know? Well, for this one I have prepared a really bright and vibrant red. This is naphtal red. I really don't need a lot. Yeah, I think this is more than enough red. Okay, the base is all done. Let's start adding in the colors for the burst and the blowout. I still want to continue working with a lot of green, um, just a few different shades. I actually got a bunch of greens, which is surprisingly for someone who doesn't use green a lot. But honestly, this has changed a lot. I thought that I'm the person who doesn't like green a lot, but I'm changing my mind about this color for sure. This was light emerald green. Next one here is phthalo green. And all of these colors, especially the one at the bottom, they will drive very dark. But I think having multiple different greens will create a more interesting diverse color palette. It will definitely add more depth. So a little bit of really bright green. This one I just mixed some green and yellow. So this one is like very bright. I don't want to have a lot of it because it will steal attention from my red and I want red to be the main accent color. This one here is another emerald green, by, but by different brand, so it actually looks different. No, we should have some colors here. I think this one I will blow out a little more. Next, here I have a little bit of iridescent color, iridescent green. Another bright color that will help me achieve a lot of beautiful lacing. And I just realized that I don't bring in any colors here. Okay. And for the overall look and feel of this painting, I want to have it sort of Christmas tree kind of vibe, but still keep it on the abstract side. So you do recognize where the inspiration came from, but it's not very pushy. So lots of green, some red decorations we're going to add and a little bit of gold as well. And also want to have some white for some snow. 
And this is silver. We'll also work together along with white to create this Christmas tree look. Okay. Finally time for more reds. So here I have mixed some magentas. And the colors might overmix too much, but I'll try to keep it nice and bright for all the colors. All right, now more of this red. We we'll need to go here. You might be wondering, what the heck is she doing mixing red and green? Wouldn't that give mud? Well, maybe in a few sections it will overmix, but I'm actually trying to add it over white or over my magenta colors. And I think it will help me keep a lot of the bright and vibrant, vibrant reds, despite the green base. Finally, just a few touches of orange. Let's create final accents here. Whew, that's a lot of color. Let's add in a little bit of green here. I want to add a bit of orange here. Nice! Nice and bright! This is awesome. Even though my colors did overmix a little bit in a few sections, like here you can see that the red is closer towards brown, but in most parts it's nice and bright. Lacing is stunning here. Step number one, actually it was step number two or three already. Success. Let's keep on going. Do you guys like this type of effect and lacing? Have an exciting news. I'm still not ready to share everything, but currently I'm working on something special where I'm gonna teach you a lot more about how to achieve beautiful lacing in your paintings in the next year. Stay tuned for that. I hope I give you a little bit of intrigue there. <laughs> this magenta will dry quite transparent, so... I'm gonna do some finger swipes now. You know, before I do that, I feel like I want to give a little more dimension to my base, at least in the bottom. It would still dry really dark, but I think this way it will not be so flat. Let's remove that ring, see what happens. Give it a good spin to connect those lines. Okay, this is actually really cool. I kind of like this green. <laughs> That's cool. That's not it. There is another twist, little tweak that I want to do for this painting. So now I want to have some gold. You have noticed that I didn't add any gold yet. To wipe this right away. This is embroidery hoop, by the way. Some gold here, and I want to do mini dips. I don't have a lot of tools for a dip technique because I don't do this technique a lot. <laughs> I have never done it actually. So I'm gonna use this giant push pin that I usually do for use for my canvases. And I'm gonna do little swirls with it. And I think that will look very cool. Yeah, not a lot of gold transferred <laughs> from this one because there was a lot of paint there, but let's keep on going. Here, yeah. Actually, I want to... I want to go all over and do little dips with spin. Oh, this is cool. I think it would look super cool with this. 
a little touch of gold when it's dry. How about we try some inside here? Yeah, nothing really happens because I have a lot of red. And I think it works best when the paint level is low. Yeah, see those little spiral things? They definitely add this playfulness of the holiday spirit. At least that's what it is for me. What do you think about this? This little addition. Oh my gosh, there's definitely something about it. I want to have more red going into my center. That was the plan, but it didn't exactly work out. Because right now my red splashes, they're a little bit separated. There's some here, some here, but they're not moving so much towards the center. But to do it right now, I might mess up all this beautiful lacing in line and I really like how it looks. So I think I will do, again, touch up when it's dry. Really bringing this movement together. So I have just more something in my red area. It's definitely more interesting with a little bit of gold. I don't know if you can see it, but you will definitely be able to see it once it's dry. I think I should stop. <laughs> um, how do I reverse this? <laughs> okay, we're good. I, for a moment, I thought that I messed it up, but I think right now it's actually very interesting. Let's jump to the next section and add just a little bit more red. The painting is dry. I am extremely pleased with how dry the metallics are just extraordinary here, especially the iridescent green. And you see how dark the bottom green uh, dried? So having all those pops of some lighter greens and some silver really makes, adds a lot of depth and just makes it more interesting and moving and happy with this part as well. So the only thing that I want to correct now is I want to bring some of that magenta and red towards my bowl, towards the red section, because right now it feels a little bit too detached. So I'm gonna work on that. So let's start with some magenta. It already sort of comes in here, but it fades into the green. So I'm gonna just enhance all those lines and maybe add a couple of new ones. So I think this side is pretty good now. And something to keep in mind about magenta is that it dries transparent. So you want to add a little more than you actually want to have it because it will dry transparent and the underneath colors will shine through much better. And if they're dark, the whole color will be much darker. So now I want to bring in some of that vibrant red. Now, finally, let me show you how everything looks dry and fully finished. And there you have it! Oh, I have to be honest, this painting was more like an experiment for me. And I think 
it turned out even better than I was hoping because it's so free flowing and very abstract, yet it has this perfect resemblance with decorated Christmas tree and just the overall holiday spirit and vibe. What do you think? And with this vibrant painting, I want to say happy holidays to all of you, my creative friends. I wish you endless creativity and may your paintings never crack and consistency be always perfect. I mean, what else? What else do you wish to fluid artists? Hey, by the way, let's make it a little challenge. Give me your ideas for holiday dishes specifically for fluid artists. Maybe they're creative, maybe they're funny, maybe they're a little silly. Let's see what we can come up with together and I will feature the best ones on my channel. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So please uh, write your ideas in the comments below this video. We are off to play in the snow now. By the way, I like how this white here in this green sort of resembles a little bit of snow. But anyway, we're off to play. We got a ton of snow in Vancouver this week. So holiday spirit totally activated. Thank you so much for joining me today for this festive painting. We will meet once again this year. So next week we're gonna create something real special and set goals for next year. So see you then until the next time. Bye-bye.